what's up? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to a new video. So this is actually the first time I've seen this car outside of the garage, fully cleaned with the new look, with the new wheels and everything, kind of just brought back to the current state of the car. And uh, it looks really, really good, especially under this overcast. Obviously, I've always been such a big fan of lapis blue uh, as one of the, my favorite color, or it is my favorite color on this car. So um, yeah, it looks great. But what I want to actually go over in this video is my potential plans. Uh, one of the things that I said I was going to do was let you guys know uh, if I plan on keeping it, what the modification or round two was going to be. So I'm going to go around the car, tell you exactly what I'm going to be doing in terms of the modifications uh, and let you know exactly kind of where I'm headed or where I think I may be headed with this car. Before we get started in the video, I just wanted to mention this. Keep in mind, this is not definitely the 100% the route that I'm going in terms of keeping the car. It is still up for sale, so if someone does come along and is interested in it, you know, I still may potentially sell it. So don't get that misconstrued. I know a lot of people were saying um, that, you know, you're definitely keeping it and this and that and kind of asking me all these questions when in reality I never said that I was keeping it. So it's kind of both ways right now, but I just wanted to give you guys an update, let you know exactly um, kind of where my thought is currently, and then also the plans if I do potentially keep it. Another thing that I'm going to mention is you're going to see a lot of modifications that I've already done. So things that I've already installed on this car before, I'm actually going to be redoing, uh, but I'm going to take a little bit different approach around this time. Uh, but you're still going to see a lot or some of the modifications that I've already done before. So the easiest way to go about it, I figured it's just kind of work from the back forward. I'm going to name everything I'm going to do in the back, kind of go around the side, mention what I'm going to do on the side, same thing on the front, as well as interior and engine bay, just kind of going over it piece by piece so it's a little bit easier to understand. So let's go ahead and start. First thing I want to do in the rear is obviously change up the taillights. I do not like the stock taillights. I want to get another set of aftermarket taillights. The only set that I haven't tried are the OLM CR spec. The design goes this way. They're not my favorite way they light up, but I do like the coloring. And my plan is to go with the red smoked coloring. I think that looks best um, overall. You know, I'm not a big fan of smoked taillights. So I think it's going to look really good. I'm going to try them out. If I don't like them, I may just modify these again like I did in the past and do it that way okay so spoiler I am going to get the same Subi speed uh, carbon fiber rear gurney flap or the gurney flap for the wing I think that just looked fantastic and uh, I was a big fan of it it held up really well over the years so I will be getting that uh, I want to get the OEM STI trunk trim again in the carbon I'm not going to do the APR license plate backing it looked good but it's not necessary also not going to do the roof wing as well I think it looks cleaner without it to be honest and I remember when I did take it off when I parted it out and I was like wow it still looks really good and I'm a big fan of it without it so I'm not going to be getting another one of those all right so down here the third brake light whatever you want to call it the fog light brake light um, this part right here I'm actually going to be doing another one but I want to get the Subi Speed final edition which basically is a brake light as well as a running light as well as a reverse light I'm going to get the same coloring as I did last time which is the black backing and the smoked lens I think it just looks nice it blends in really really well uh, the one I had previously was just a brake light it wasn't a reverse light so I figured might as well get the one with everything in it um, and I'm a big fan of it I think it looks good when reversing plus it adds a little bit of light I'm also going to be doing the OLM carbon fiber exhaust finishers as well I just think they look good they're really really simple piece uh, and it adds a little nice touch of carbon without going overboard in terms of the diffuser I'm not going to be doing the various engineering diffuser that I did last time it looked good but it was also a little bit too much I also had some issues with ground clearance as well um, so I'm probably just going to redo the diffuser the same one that I did years ago the first one the Icon Motorsport one I think that looked best and I'm a big fan of it now the rear spats, I had the carbon ones and I also had the base and R ones, which are just poly. Most likely the full lip kit, I'm just going to be doing the base and R poly kit. It's the same exact styling. It looks exactly the same as the carbon one, but it's just made of poly. It's a little bit more durable, a little bit easier on the wallet as well. Um, so if I did scrape it or anything like that, it's not too worrisome. But at the same time, I'm kind of back and forth and it may just do the full carbon lip kit again because I just think it looks good. Uh, but we will see. I'm back and forth on the base and R or just going with the OLM carbon fiber lip kit. So that is it for the rear. Coming around the side, the side skirts, I would be doing the same exact ones, the CS style uh, side skirts, but back and forth between base and R or the OLM carbon fiber ones, we will see. But either way, it's going to be the same style. Now wheels, 
I love these wheels, but I definitely want something that fits a little bit better. Uh, I want to try something different. And the cool thing about these wheels is that actually um, it made me realize how much I like black wheels on this car, especially with the Rotora brake kit behind the wheels. And I've always wanted to try these wheels out. They're very, very nice. A lot of people run them, so I figured might as well try them out. I want to try out the Titan 7 TS5s in black. I think they look really, really good. It has a nice concave. They're also forged, so it's not crazy, crazy Volk money, but at the same time, you know, you're not getting anything too cheap and it's going to hold up over time. Um, and I just think they look really, really good. Most likely I'll be getting uh, Michelin PS4 S's and 265, 35, 18. Uh, I love the Cup 2s, but I just think they're a little bit unnecessary for what I need this car for but I plan on actually keeping these wheels since they have a really nice set of all seasons on here, the Continental DWS 06s, which is my favorite all season tire. Great, great for the snow. So I may hang on to these in case I ever feel like doing some snow driving. Now mirrors, we're actually going to remodify them. I do want to get the uh, carbon reproductions uh, mirror covers. They're the full replacements, not the caps. Same ones that I had, so I want to get them again. The mirrors, I love the yellow, but this time around, I think I'm going to try the blue tinted ones. Also the ones with the turn signal in them as well. It's just kind of, I don't know, something a little bit different, but I think they'll look cool. And it'll still give that convex that I love so much. And uh, just change it up. I think the blue is going to look really nice as well against the lapis. So I will be getting those. Moving along to the front, uh, I'm probably going to get another WRX Daily carbon fiber hood scoop. I loved how that looked. It fit very, very well. It added some nice contrast to the car. And a really, really key component of the hood, I think the carbon looked good. It kind of broke things up a little bit. Uh, not that the OEM stock painted one doesn't look good, but, but I just got accustomed to the carbon one. So I'd be picking up another one of those. The fog lights, I loved the Diodynamic SS3s, but I want to try out the Morimoto XBs again. I used to have those um, just in the white version, but they also have an amber version now, which is a yellow. And the reason why I want those this time around is because I'm not a big fan of how fog lights look on the car when they're off. And the Morimoto ones, they actually have a black housing on the inside, so it blends in really nicely. But when they're on, they're gonna be yellow. So it's kind of a perfect mix. They'll blend in when they're off, but when they're on, they'll be yellow. So I'm probably gonna get those. I'm gonna keep uh, everything else the same around here. I love the Subi Speed uh, turn signal and DRL fog light bezels as well. The front lip, again, same exact style, the CS style. Kind of back and forth between the base and R as well as the OLM carbon fiber, but we will see. Now, in regards to the grill, I don't think I'm going to be doing the full carbon one that I did previously. It looked very, very good, but I just got really, really custom to the OEM style. I think it looks very, very nice. Um, and with the gloss black, it just matches everything nicely. Uh, I'm kind of up in the air. I may do the OLM carbon fiber ring or the trim around it. Again, I did that on my previous um, JDM style grill that I had on this bumper. Uh, but for now, I think I'm just going to leave it alone, keep everything the same, uh, and just keep it really simple. Now headlights, I, you guys know that I did my custom set of headlights from Lightworks. Uh, these are from a 2021 STI. So I have a new stock OEM set of headlights. Most likely down the line, I'll probably just end up getting them redone at uh, Lightworks, but I'm gonna simplify them a little bit. I'm probably gonna go with the same style in terms of the coloring. So it's gonna be the uh, nice gray coloring that I had on the shroud, on the projector shroud, through the Morimoto M LED. 2.0 projector um, and then get everything painted a nice satin black however on the side here i'm probably going to get the smoked reflector uh, what i had done was just it painted and it took away that light on the side so i want to try to get a nice uh, dark smoked reflector in there so the light still works still functional um, I'm probably not going to do the demon eyes. They're kind of unnecessary. I never, never ran them. And one of the things is I always had to turn them on or off with my phone. So anytime that I did have them on or I was running them, I always forgot to turn them off. I only use them for, you know, photos or, or videos or something like that. I never used to drive around with them. So most likely I'm not going to do them and just kind of leave that out of the build. Um, and then I'm probably going to do the diodynamic sea light as well as the blinker. Probably do the strip light as well just because I like that look so much. So the only difference is I'm probably not going to do demon eyes and I'm going to do a smoked reflector instead of a painted one. Now as for the interior, really really simple. I already have everything that I want to do to this car or to the interior I should say. And that's just reinstall the Recaro Sportster GTs. I absolutely do not like these stock seats. I, they're just very very uncomfortable. They sit too high. I got so accustomed to the Recaros and just how it was sitting and how much lower you are when you're driving then I'm just going to reinstall them and take these out and store them. I'm not going to sell any of these like I did last time. I'm going to hang on to them 
Um, but yeah, I'm gonna throw them in. And the only other thing that I wanna do is the door handles here. You guys know that I had the carbon ones done by my friend, but I'm just gonna pick up a set of, I think they're Impreza or Crosstrek OEM uh, door handles. They're just black, so just to remove the chrome. Otherwise, the interior is exactly the same. Um, obviously, I don't have the carbon hazard button up there. The red is just fine. I'm not gonna even bother with that. I didn't remove anything other than the door handles and the hazard button, so there's really not much to redo. Another thing that I actually never did on the Recaros when I had them in the car is the carbon fiber backings. I am going to get those as well. Might as well do it because I'm doing everything, kind of redoing it. So got to get those as well. Just got to get them in the package and uh, install them because it's something that I've always wanted to do and I planned on doing that next actually. All right, so the engine bay. I've removed a lot of cosmetic stuff and I'm probably going to be doing very, very similar things. Uh, just keeping it much more simpler. I'm not going to go too crazy with the theme or coloring. But some of the things that I'm going to be doing is the carbon fiber fender shrouds. I think they just look better than these chintzy you know, fabric pieces. Um, I'm gonna be doing a parent dress up kit. So I'm gonna be doing the parent uh, strut bar as well as the electronic boost control solenoid cover and the engine cover or whatever we're gonna call this alternator cover. Uh, but I'm just gonna do it in black. I used to have it in white, but I think I'm gonna keep it really, really simple and just do it in black this time um, and just not go too crazy. The caps, gonna do the same white Renegade Motorsports caps. They just look amazing. Uh, they look so much better than all of this yellow. Uh, probably gonna pick up another set of the uh, Titanium Works cap sets for the um, radiator. So the radiator and the overflow tank there. Uh, I'm gonna be doing the coolant overflow tank as well from Cobb. I love that thing. Gets rid of these two ugly, ugly plastic tanks um, and just keep it really, really clean there. Still kind of up in the air if I'm gonna do the Password JDM covers, the one I had on the power steering as well as the battery. They looked really, really nice. Um, but you know, it's one of those things that do I really need it? Most likely I'll end up doing it, but uh, it's one of those things that's kind of on the back burner, so we will see. Uh, most likely gonna get the Cobb Redline carbon fiber fuse box cover as well, since I think that just looks nice and it goes along with the Cobb intake as well. But that is it I'm gonna be doing on the engine bay. Nothing too crazy, nothing too out there. It's gonna look really, really clean and very, very simple. And uh, yeah, that's gonna be it for the engine bay. Another mod that I haven't installed that I planned on doing next was the Beat Rush Differential Carrier. I did the Beat Rush Differential Bushing, then I did the parent Transmission Mount, and the next mount that I planned on doing was the Beat Rush Differential Carrier Mount, whatever you want to call it. Um, so I'm going to snag that, install that, and see how that feels, do a full review on it and everything like I normally do. Uh, but yeah, that is definitely on my list. Now, in terms of a motor build, we will see how things go throughout the year, but that is definitely on the plans. I'm not gonna release what I'm gonna do just yet because it's still up in the air, but I definitely do have some plans of what I would like to do. So stay tuned for that. Obviously, I will release that information and kind of go over things once I got it figured out and you know, we, we would definitely be doing it. I don't wanna say I'm doing it and then not. And then we can decide from there which route to go and what is the best plan. I got in the car getting a little cold, but as you can tell, I pretty much am redoing a lot of the things that I've already done before. Um, you know, everything that I've done on the car previously was something that I've wanted to do. I didn't do it just for YouTube or to make a video. They were parts that I wanted personally. Um, so I'm just gonna be redoing them. I got to experience them. I got to see what I like, what I didn't like. Um, so this time around would be really, really easy because I know what I want. I know what I want the car to look like and everything. So it would be really, really easy to kind of remodify this car and bring it back to a state that um, I personally want to drive it and I think looks good. So you'll be seeing a lot of the modifications, but like I said, it's not going to be individual videos. They'll be like on full series. You know, we'll just do like all the exterior stuff, interior stuff, kind of break it down like that. We will see. Or we'll just make a video basically, hey, I'm going to be installing these things tonight based on what I want to do. So we will see. But I've worked out something with a vendor that I'm really, really fond of. And I have purchased many, many things in the past from. So I wouldn't say I'm sponsored by them, but. Uh, they're definitely helping me out with this second phase of the car. So very, very thankful. I'll release all that information and everything um, when the time comes or if the time comes. I mean, that's going to be it. I figured just kind of go over everything because I don't like to leave you guys in the dark. I'm not one of those YouTubers that does surprises or makes you guys wait. I just let you know everything because that's the kind of content that I enjoy. I like to know what they're going to be installing or what they're going to be doing on their cars um, just to get a little preview and not... Uh, you know, be left in the dark and just be like, oh, I wonder what they're going to install next. I know there's always that kind of mischievous aspect of it. Like, oh, what are they going to do next? Mm, I don't know. But uh, that's just not me. I just kind of, I'm a little bit more open about that stuff. So, so I thought it was a good idea to go over everything, just kind of let it out there and uh, let you guys know. But also keep in mind, once again, I'm going to say this one more time. 
This is not a definite plan. I still have the car up for sale. So if somebody's interested and they do end up buying it, you know, we will see. I still have other plans and everything that I would like to do with other cars and other projects. Either way, I'm gonna be very, very busy. Whether it's with this car or something else, obviously I'll keep you guys updated as much as I possibly can. Uh, but that's gonna be it for this one, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. But let me know what you guys think of my list. It's a pretty big list and I'd be excited to get a pretty massive package in the mail. <laughs> well, pretty massive shipment, I should say. Uh, and it would be a lot of fun. So let me know what you guys think of everything that I plan on doing. And uh, yeah, so that's gonna be it for this one, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions at all, be sure to ask them below. But in the meantime, keep it clean, keep it simple, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.